Hello everybody! Have you ever heard of a breadboard? Think of it as a tool to help you easily connect electronic parts together. It can be used to make the prototype of your projects, even if they are simple or more complicated, without soldering the parts. Considering that the connections are not permanent, it is easy to remove a component if you make a mistake or just start over and do a new project. Modern breadboards are made from plastic and come in all shapes, sizes and even different colors. The most common sizes you will probably see are full size, half size and mini breadboards. Only the true hole components can be placed into a breadboard as the components need to have leads or pins to introduce them in the holes. The leads can fit into the breadboard because the inside of a breadboard is made up of rows of tiny metal clips. When you press a component's lead into a breadboard hole, one of these clips grabs onto it. Some breadboards are actually made of transparent plastic, so you can see the clips inside. The holes in the rows for ground and supply are electrically connected. There is no physical difference between the positive and negative buses and using them is not a requirement. The labels just make it easier to organize your circuit similar to color coding your wires. The columns though are not connected across the gap so only 5 holes are connected on columns. Buses on the opposite sides of the breadboard are not connected to each other and you need to connect them if you want. Now let's try to make a small circuit, for example, lighting up an LED. First we need to calculate the current limiting resistor, so we don't supply more current than the LEDs can take, usually around 20 mA. Then we place the components, pull the wires and then start the power supply. We can add more LEDs in parallel and if we want to add one more across the gap, we have to pull wires to connect the rows. I hope this video helped you understand breadboards a bit better. They're pretty handy for experimenting with electronics, especially for beginners. Thanks for watching, see you next time.